All right, y'all. Why I'm not embarrassed of or planning to fix my teeth. So in the last little bit, we've had a lot of people comment saying, oh, you buy new cars and you travel and this and that, but you have not fixed your teeth. You spend all your money on fancy stuff like GoPros and rims. And when are you gonna fix your teeth, Jose? <clears throat> Never. If I had a million dollars, I wouldn't change who I am as a person. There's a reason these teeth are like this. Bottom row straight, but top row is messed up. And you can also tell my nose is messed up. You know, if you know why my teeth, there's people that when I when I walk into, a, if I, luckily I've never walked into a prison, but this says a lot. It says that my childhood was rough, that my parents couldn't take care of me when I was little, that that um, I was malnourished too because they're not straight at the bottom, they're kind of like this, little grooves and stuff. It says a lot. And when I'm on a street in a big city and um, somebody comes up to me, all I gotta do is show them my teeth and they already know that I think that I'm just a different type of person than what I've been through in my life. And it's not really like, if I were just to walk into a prison cell right now and there's like 50 dudes sizing me up and I go like this and they see these teeth, they just kind of know that um, there's a little bit of struggle behind that. And when I wasn't, I mean, I, mean, I, was, I was bullied in middle school over it. I was bullied in high school by a bunch of rich kids whose parents could afford to do that for them. Of course, my parents couldn't afford to do that for me. But some of those kids that used to make fun of me uh, when I was in middle school and high school, I've seen them working in drive through as adults. So your parents can only do so much for you. It comes to the point in life where you gotta be mature and you gotta be the one standing on your own two feet. And I'm not embarrassed of it anymore. Like, in fact, if I had money, I don't even think I, like a real serious kind of money, like I would never even consider fixing it because it's a reminder of all, to me, it's like you see people with a face tattoo, that's something you, you give yourself. But this is like a face tattoo that life gave me. Like you see people that they try to portray, portray their something, cover their arms and their eyes with tattoos and stuff trying to portray that there's something. I, I, I feel like, you know, you should just like be able to look at my eyes and just kind of see what I've been through in my life. And I don't feel that really it matters to me. Like, I just feel like it lets people know that I've been through a lot and that um, from malnutrition to a rough childhood to a lot of fights, um, there's another YouTuber on the internet, and he's got the same problem I do. See, his bottom row straight, top row messed up. Um, I'm not going to mention his name on the video, but, um, you know, it, it's something that, um, if you know what, how you end up like that. Um, I've shared a lot of stories about growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, and how... Um, where I lived was, you know, the neighborhood I wasn't supposed to live in. And I used to have to fight on the bus uh, every single day, have to fight in my neighborhood every single day. And, you know, that disfigures you a lot. Um, a lot of things, man. And, and also, um, another thing too was, <clears throat> I used to hang out with my cousins that were older. And um, when I was hanging out with my cousins that were older, they were playing baseball and they were like pretty much like grown kids and I was still kind of little and I also had some damage um in the back of my mouth because of that um so I've had a lot of traumatizing experiences that have led to this you know this isn't just um you don't just end up with a mouth like this like there's 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 things to it and I if I had all the money in the world, I, I still like consider it like people think I'm vague and, and that I 
you know, when I buy a pair of wheels for a car, because I like it. Like, I want to see it. Like, I like it. It's not an outward expression. It's just something for me. Like, this means nothing to me, really. Like, um, and I don't really plan on changing it. Like, even if I could have really, really afford it, um, throughout my whole life, <coughs> I've had to deal with people looking down on you and a lot of times people say you know you buy these cars you buy these vehicles and rims and this and that and like a lot of people think that i'm arrogant <clears throat> but it's not that you're arrogant or that you lack humility it's just that for so long you were bullied you were deprived and you come to the point where it hardens you to the point where you're no longer um you know you you've experienced a lot and um, a lot of people that are in the comments saying, oh, you need to fix your teeth or this and that. Like, you just don't understand what all that entitles. Um, to me, coming from where I'm from, fixing my teeth isn't going to fix my appearance. Because if instead of having, if I show up in a piece of crap car, and fix up teeth, then that really does nothing for me. And we live in a world where people are judgmental. Like if you're gonna to go to a job for somebody, <clears throat> a lot of the opportunities that you're gonna get are gonna be get, are gonna be determined by how other people perceive you. And if other people perceive you to be kind of from a poor background, then those opportunities, those doors just shut automatically, you know? Um, you're kind of almost not worth who you are. You're worth what a piece of paper says on a degree or what your appearance is um, determines a lot because whether people try to say, well, we're not judgmental or we believe it, but that's all garbage. You live in a very judgmental world. And in fact, as I travel, I realize that the people that claim to be the most um, open-minded and like in cities and stuff are actually some of the most judgmental people you'll find because if you think about it in cities what you drive and how you present yourself or the $40,000 Rolex on your watch on your arm means more to other people than than who you are as a person like I was just in Houston at a tire shop I ended up getting the wheels for this car in Birmingham, Alabama. But I initially wanted to do it in Houston. So I was in Houston and I walk into a tire shop and there's me and this other dude. Me and this other dude. The other dude puts his arm on the on the counter with like a really, you know, thirty thousand dollar watch or whatever. Puts his arm on the counter, you know, with his watch. You can see he's got a watch, he's got a gold chain, he's got a steering. You know, and he parked a Maserati right in the disabled spot where when you're behind the window, you can see it. So, you know, my money was good too, but apparently the person behind the register looked at my clothes, which is usually pretty simple. Um, and he looked at the other guy and, you know, he kind of shredded me, you know, pushed me away to attend the other person because in his mindset, that was a more valuable customer. He didn't want to pay attention to me. Um, because the other person, you know, appeared to be more affluent. So people in the city pretend like they're more humanitarian and they're more welcoming. But in reality, you know, urban people are very judgmental. And I'm happy about my teeth because it reminds me that I don't care what you think about me or how you perceive me. I'm going to carry myself the way I'm going to carry myself. And it really doesn't matter the way you, you perceive it. Like you can perceive me however you want. Like, I don't need your opinion. Like, I figured out how to make a living without caring about what the next person thinks about it. So, if all of a sudden now I want to start caring about what the next person thinks, then that's just going back 20 steps. It hasn't bothered me. I eat I eat every day. We're tea for free eating. And I eat every single day. I eat good. I got a nice belly right here. So, I've been eating good. Um, do I care about appearances? I really don't. Um, but... A lot of times, the people that need to know what it means will know what it means when they see it. And to me, that matters more because those are the type of people that can really hurt you. 
Um, but when they see that, they understand what it means. But regular square people, they don't understand what it means because they're, they're just focused on, like in school, I got bullied a lot by a lot of people. And it was like, okay, how many people are you gonna have to, how many people are you gonna have to put in line if you have to go through life checking every person that disrespects you, how many people are you gonna have to put in line? You're gonna have to spend your whole entire life, in, you know, in trouble because of dealing with people who disrespect you. So I learned that it doesn't matter what they think, and it doesn't. You shouldn't really, um, you know, you shouldn't because it, you know once you're getting bullied, the only way to stop there's only one way to stop it, you know. And if you're gonna go through life checking every person that needs to get checked. At what point do you, you know, at what point do you say, okay, that's too much? At what point do you say, okay, that's enough consequences? Because you're going to continue to meet people who are going to try to bully you or try to make you feel like you're insignificant because of your appearance. So I've been dealing with this for a long time. Um, it doesn't bother me. I, what, I, what I'm glad is that I can buy the things I want, do the things I want, wake up whenever I want to go to sleep whenever I want to, eat whatever I want every day, like drive whatever cars I want. Like literally if I wanted something more expensive, I can get it, but I, it's just not what I want right now. I'd rather travel a little bit more and stuff. And I could probably do both, but I don't really want expensive cars because they could just get stolen or whatever. Um, but I, I'm happy where I'm at. Like, and I don't need anybody to, like when you go into that job, you know, they're gonna look at you head to toe. But me, I don't need it. Like, I, I just, I figured out a way I can live without being subject to other people's criteria. So when I go on my YouTube channel, I see people talking garbage about my teeth. Um, you know, to me, I've been seeing that since I was like in middle school. So you think you're telling me something new? You think you've discovered a new thing? But what you don't understand is that the way these teeth got like this was getting my face pounded in every single day when I was the only Cuban on my bus route and I had to fight seven Bosnians every single day to get to school. But you don't know that. Every single day. My bus stop, there was two kids that were twins and they, would, it would be, and they were my age, so it was fair game for both of them and me. We're the same age, same size. And sometimes their sister would be there and there would be three on one. Get on the bus, seven on one. Change the bus, because in Kentucky you had to ride two buses. And then it would, might have been four on one or four on two. Luckily, on, when the bus switch stopped, that's when another kid in there that was Spanish. And me and him could kind of work together to defend ourselves. So when you got in the expressway, the bus driver couldn't stop the bus. Nothing. When the bus got in the expressway, it was full on. And I was always by myself, always. For like one year period or six month period before I moved back to Florida in Kentucky for like a short little period finally we were the majority and we didn't go and hurt other people like we just made sure that they wouldn't hurt us so I know what this means to me and it means nothing like if a person is going to look at my appearance and they're going to judge like why should I do it because people are going to judge me when they see me, I don't give a crap what you think about me. You don't pay my bills, you don't pay my rent, you don't pay my cars, you don't pay my food, nothing. Like, I don't give a crap what you think about my teeth. It means nothing to me. Um, and I'm not gonna fix it. Like, I already, and if I do fix it, it would be like all gold or all platinum or something like ridiculous. But it doesn't mean anything to me. Like, it means nothing to me. Like, it, it just, um, <clears throat> it's not a priority for me because I don't, to me, it's actually, it's almost like the opposite of something to be embarrassed of. It's almost like, it's like a bottle scar that you show to your friends, you know, to let people know that, that the ones that really do matter know what it means. It means that you've been through a lot. You know, how problem I'm seeing it every day. Like it's not even on the top of my list of things I'd care about because I've learned that the things that matter are not the way other people perceive you. You know, like we live in a world where everything's, a, you know, centered around how other people perceive you and how other people perceive you affects your income, 
affects what job you can get, it affects everything in your life. Your whole life outcome is based on how other people perceive you. Uh, does that mean you need to have low expectations? Definitely not. But you're not going to let that in itself determine everything else around you. So, no, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I would rather travel and see the world, you know, like, and now the things become uh, a lot of people that are bullies on my channel, and I'm just going to start deleting them. I'm not going to, like, even, if I see somebody making a comment like that, I delete them. I get a hundred, I've had a lot of people that are like, oh, we're being disrespectful, but well, I'm going to subscribe to your channel, so you got to put up with it. No, I don't. I get 120 new subscribers a day. If I got to delete three of them a day, that's perfectly fine with me. You're not going to sit here and disrespect me. And if you are, you're not going to be around long. And what's hilarious is how many people that disrespect me, I block their account, and then they have to go create another account because they still want my content, which is just ridiculous. Like, I, I don't even understand that. Like, I couldn't imagine me getting blocked from one person's channel and then feeling so emotionally attached to it that I have to create another account and then go back to throw this person again or to apologize and say you're going to behave. That's just ridiculous, which goes to show that the people that are doing the bullying on my channel right now are actually, they're the ones that are emotionally kind of going through something and they feel that by if they can put, put me down, then it's going to in some way make them feel better about themselves. I don't really get how it works. I've never been envious of other people and I've never been a bully. Um, I've never been a bully. If somebody got it for me, they got it for a reason. Um, but anyways, I don't really care. Like, I, I really it doesn't. It doesn't top the list of my priorities. It doesn't top the list of things that I'm worried about, or that I plan to do anything about. Like, really, right now, like, more important to me is getting a house paid off again. Renting isn't really for me. Um, after so many years of being a homeowner, this whole renting thing is not easy somebody else making rules for where I live and where I sleep is a little redundant for me. Even if that person's reasonable, it still isn't for me. So I look forward to having my own place again where I can make my own rules again and I can kind of be in charge of my own piece of land again. Not just having a mortgage. I just, I just paying it off and saying it's mine. If I pay the property taxes, then I'm good. You know, And even when I had a house paid off, I was always worried about property taxes and being able to pay that. So, even though it wasn't monetarily a lot, but it's just the notion of, I wish I could just pay property taxes 20 years ahead or something and, and say it's mine for 20. And like, even to that point, I used to be another homeowner. So more important to me is being a homeowner. More important to me is just having peace and tranquility. More important to me is um, maybe traveling and seeing a lot of places that I still want to see. More important to me is helping, like before, if I had, before I spent $70,000 in a dentist, I would grab $70,000 and maybe like buy my dad a new car or maybe remodel him where he lives, you know? Um, I would just consider before fixing this here, I would help my dad, you know, I would um, maybe take my family on a vacation Maybe I would uh, buy some real estate. Uh, maybe buy some more toys, like maybe a bigger ATV or, you know, I would. There's a thousand things that I would do before fixing my teeth, man. It's, it's not even. It's not even like. And I am believing in investing myself more than in the past, but why does my look matter? If they ever stop functioning, then it would matter. Like if my leg broke. I would fix it because then you need a leg, but I have teeth. It doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Um, I've always been picked on. I've always been bullied over it, but it's hilarious when I'm in a drive through and I, and the people that used to pick on me and make fun of me in middle school, now they're working in a Burger King drive through So I guess now that you're your own adult and daddy's not the one paying for the monkeys and the, and the guitars, then, you know, you're not that cool anymore. So that's the way life works, you know? Uh, sometimes you just got to look at the long-term ramifications of your decisions. But there it is. I don't really care about uh, fixing my teeth. Um, if I had $100,000 or $200,000 right now, it would be paying off a house. It would be some real estate, some vacations. It would not be my teeth. It's If I had a million dollars, 
I would consider, I would start to consider fixing my teeth and it probably would not be going back to stock. It would be some aftermarket stuff. And not to make it look trashy, it would be like something decent. Like it would probably be like platinum because it kind of looks like my regular teeth, but it's just a lot of pain and a lot of money and a lot of time that I can spend traveling or something. It's like you think going to the dentist, even if you've got the money, even if you got the money, even if you, everything else, if it's not even about money, it's still a lot of time and a lot of crap that I'm not willing to deal with. So there it is, definitely none of my priorities. Don't care about it, happy with who I am.